Hey guys, it's Friendlies, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to get the best settings for OBS 2018 if you have an AMD graphics card. Now let's get started. First, if you haven't already, hit the plus sign under sources, select what source you want. If you're capturing a game, click game capture. If you're capturing a window, click window capture. I'm going to be capturing CS, so I'm going to click game capture. You can rename your source to whatever you want. I'm going to rename mine CSGO, click OK. Click the drop down box under mode. Then select capture specific window then under window select your program adjust your settings accordingly then click ok now what you want to do is click the settings button over here at the top you can select your language and your theme i suggest checking this box automatically check for updates on startup and all the other settings on this page you can leave alone we're not going to be streaming so we can skip over this page click on output make sure your output mode is advanced click on the recording tab make sure your type is standard you can set your recording path to whatever you want. I suggest putting it on a different hard drive. Make sure your recording format is MP4. Now in post, if you want to split your microphone and desktop audio tracks, check one and two. But if you don't want to do that, just have one checked. Under encoder, make sure you have the H.264 AVC encoder. If you don't have that, you probably don't have an AMD graphics card. Make sure rescale output is unchecked. And down here at the bottom, make sure your preset is YouTube because we are going to be recording for YouTube. For the quality preset, make sure it's balanced. Make sure pre-pass mode is enabled. I found that a target bitrate of 10,000 has the best quality to performance ratio for me. If you set this to 10,000 and you start to lag, you can just decrease it until you're satisfied. Just know the higher the number, the better the quality of your video is gonna be. And make sure your view mode is basic. Now click on audio at the top. Now if you do wanna split your mic and desktop audio, for both track one and two, make your audio bitrate 160. Then rename the first track microphone and the second track desktop. If you don't want to split these tracks, just rename the first one audio. But for this tutorial, I want to split my audio tracks. Now click on audio on the left hand side. If your mic records at a sample rate of 48 kilohertz, then click on 48 kilohertz. But mine records at 44.1 kilohertz, and most mics do. Make sure your channels are stereo. For your desktop audio device, select your headphones. In this case, it's my speakers. For desktop audio device 2, just leave it disabled. For mic auxiliary audio device, make that your microphone. Now leave these two options blank. And for your audio meter decay rate, make it fast. Now click on video on the left hand side. Make sure your base canvas resolution is 1080p, as well as your output scale resolution. Make sure your downscale filter is the Lanchos filter. And for your FPS values, make it 60. Again, if you experience lag, you can drop this down to 30 FPS. There's not really a noticeable drop in quality. Now on the left hand side, click hotkeys. If you'd like to set up a hotkey to start recording, you can do so here. Mine's set to F9. Now click on advanced. For your process priority, make it normal. For your renderer, make it direct 3D 11. For your color format, make it NV12. For your YUV color space, make it 601. And your YUV color range, make it partial. Everything else you can leave the same. Now just hit apply and OK. Now there's one last thing you have to do before this tutorial is finished. Click on the gear icon next to your audio. Now click on advanced audio properties. Now if you want to split your audio tracks, make sure the mic auxiliary is set to only the first track and make sure the desktop audio is set to only the second track. Now, if you don't want to split these audio tracks, you can just leave all these checked. And now you can hit close. And there you have it. These were my best OBS settings for 2018 if you have an AMD graphics card. If this video helped in any way, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, comment down below. I'll be sure to respond as fast as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.